As it's me, Heather, and I'm back with another video. I know, long time no see, but I'm back, and here I am, and we are gonna do the long-awaited Timu makeup. Get ready with me. We're gonna review it. We're gonna use it in our get ready with me, and if, anything that I don't use, um, I'm gonna try to remember to like swatch it, but I have tried most of this stuff already, so I can give you reviews, even if I don't put it on my face, but um, I didn't get a foundation, so I just used my regular foundation. However, I did try to use this kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter or the Cover FX highlighting. Um, like they have the glitter drops and then they had like the highlighters, you know? So um, I tried to use that like that. So just very, very sparingly, I put it on the back of my hand and tapped it just like at the highlight points. It went immediately into my pores. Thick, cakey, didn't spread out very well. So that's a pattern in my pores immediately. So. On the body, perhaps, mixing it in some baby oil and a little shimmer spray, maybe, but for my face, no. Um, but that was that. So then I tried to use, it came in this box, if you're looking on Timu. Everything's linked down below, but it's Carla's Secret Concealer and Blush. Um, so it looks like this, it looks like Make It Forever. <laughs> I mean, obviously the packaging is what they're duping. And I tried to use the concealers I mean, there's just, you can see I used my little spatula and scooped it and it comes off like that. But once you put it on, it is just greasy. It's not flattering. It doesn't, I mean, it just literally <laughs> does nothing. <laughs> um, so unfortunately for me, it's a no-go. Now, I don't know, the white may be fine. It may work. Um, I can just see it being oil, grease, creasing. So it's a no. These are blushes. I have several other blushes and knowing that this this was just cr greasy and did nothing, we're not gonna use that. Um, if I didn't get anything from my lips, we may try it on the lips at the end. But um, I say this is a pass and it's unfortunate because I was hoping it was at least pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend you even picking it up. It did nothing. Um, unless this side is pretty good because I think it was like $6. So unless this side is impressive, I say skip it. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we need is some bronzy contour. And the only thing that I got were these two. The only thing I got for that situation is the Hello Kiss multi Multifunctional Makeup in the shade two. And it just looks like this. And here it does have a like open close contraption. And um, we'll see. I mean, it could be okay. We haven't used it yet. And I'm just doing it how I do Charlotte or any other product like this. But let's hope that <laughs> it's not too gray on me. So we're going to use this little end here. We'll find out how it looks when we get it real nice and close. And if you're not new here, yes, I did dye my hair. And if you're new here... <laughs> Hi, my name's Heather, and my hair is ever-changing. <laughs> I get tired of the frosty, icy, blondy, goldy, 1980s hood of a Corvette hair. So, I had to just go dark golden blonde, and I think this, this will be good for a while. <laughs> it's still blonde enough, and I am going to go ahead and say, it looks pretty good, right? So, let's look at it up close. Let's give it the old... Um... She look good. Let's try a little bit on the old schnozzeroony. I don't always do my nose because it is already quite, I mean, I don't love or hate it. It's just my nose, so, but it's already. Okay, so I don't always do my nose, but it does help. I like to take it up into the, okay. I say this, we're gonna make a stack. This is a go. <laughs> we're gonna put the go back there, mm, over here. All right, now we need some powder. You can do this at any step of the game. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I'm just sitting around my nose, maybe just under my eyes because the more I look at this one, I think I assumed that I was tan when I have never ever been tan. <laughs> But this is shade two, if you're wondering, and you like like the banana powder and you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, this would be okay for you. So not for me, <laughs> um, but I do have this one, which 
has the lighter powders and then it has the pink, which everybody's going crazy for pink. And these were super cheap and they had like five shades. So you might find something before I get ahead of myself. We're going to review it though. It comes with its own little puff, which I love to see. I have my own puffs, but we're going to use theirs. Not everybody wants to buy separate puffs. So not everything's about you, Heather. Okay. Oh my God. It is sealed. That's what we're doing here for 27 hours. And I'm just peeling the sticker back on the pink one because that is what we're putting to the test. Because I do like the pink powders. We don't need very much. We're going to take our little sponge. Like these. And we see nothing. <laughs> it's it's giving nothing. But let's look up close and see how our under eyes are looking. Okay. From afar, you can't see anything. Up close, I mean, I think it looks good. Like it said it, there's nothing in the crease. I think it did what it's supposed to do. Again. I'm not looking for miracles from my powders. Like, this is going to be problematic when there's no uh, way to close these off. So just poke holes in it. In here, and put it in there with some of the leftover pink, and we're going to set uh, around our nostrils. Uh, I'm not going anywhere, but we do want to set our makeup so we look cute. And put the leftover on our eyeballs. I say this is good. Again, I don't do much with the powder because I am about to be 41 in like a week and a half. <laughs> Two weeks. No, like a week. Oh, Lord. And um, so I try to use it very sparingly, but I like it. And up close in my mirror, you can't see it. So, like, there's not any, it's not setting into the lines. It just did what it was supposed to do. So, hopefully, long wear, that's great. So, Recommend, we're going back there. Let's see, we have this blush. If we don't know, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Rare Beauty blushes. Obviously not those shades, but packaging similar. And I'm gonna swatch it, but I think we're gonna use the ones that were supposed to be a dupe for Charlotte. <laughs> this stopper came out or it didn't have one or something, but. I think I want to use the Charlotte ones are much brighter, but look how pretty this is. And obviously you can put that on better than I did, but very pretty. And I am impressed with that. And I have tried it a few times and it goes on, it stays, it doesn't budge. Um, if you're looking for something similar and it's just not in your budget right now to get Rare Beauty, you can pick this up. But I am a Selena and a Selena fan. So I'm all about supporting her, but I, you do you, and if you need to get that, get it, because it's good. <laughs> it's good enough. That's highlighter. That's highlighter, we think. Let's see. Yep, highlighter. So we have these two blushes here. Um, they're both from Hello Kiss. One is eight and one is three. We're going to do... The packaging is janky as I'll get it. I am just telling you that ahead of time. When you go to unlock it, it will always and forever open like this. Just be prepared for that. Okay. I'm swatching them for you. So this is eight. And this is a three. Sometimes it locks. And sometimes the whole top pops off. Alright. So eight and three. Eight and three. And we're going to go three. <laughs> and we got our you can use a more dense brush but I like to use my blush brush and then just smile and so it'd be on the apples of your cheeks and up higher so on this side of our face we need just the leftover <laughs> I love blush. I 
Okay, yeah. And before you get scared, my favorite brush, you just put your makeup on with and just kind of work where you're within the lines and it tones it down a little bit, blends it all in. No harm, no foul, right? So I say these are good. The Hello Kiss, they're good. Packaging, not great. Actually pretty horrible, <laughs> but for the price, they're really good. If you want to treat yourself, you have the money. Of course, Charlotte is 100% better, but there's no hate. Nobody's going to know. They will probably assume that you get Charlotte on your face. So, love of those. And then we got highlighters. Um, and then we're going to do our eyes and we will be done. So, this is from, it's different. It's not Hello Kiss. These two are different. This is Lake Rain Beauty. It looks like this. Kind of looks like Charlotte. The packaging is also terrible. <laughs> this is, it says multi-use stick. This was the worst one. They will be linked down below because they are not giving me numbers, but that's what that one looks like. It's kind of gold, champagne-y. And then we have this one, which is pinky. And it came almost empty and nothing's coming out at this point. So let's see if we can squeeze some out. And it was closed, so don't say, you're supposed to close it and try it out. Okay, and this one's pinky. So see, more of a champagne-y and pinky. And I like champagne -y, so it's okay that this one's, I mean, basically empty. We're going to use this one. Everywhere I would use Charlotte. We are putting that there, so. We will see what kind of glow we get. Take it up on the brow. I'm just using this camera. <laughs> oh my. Now you know, you guys know that I've been here who watch every video. I am a Charlotte Tilbury stan. Her makeup is it crazy expensive, but I love everything that I try from her almost. Um, but I can appreciate a budget and I can appreciate if something looks good and it looks good. Okay. So we're going to go into eyeshadow and then we will come back um uh, i got a few other little things that i can sort of finish up with and then we will do a very quick review because we are time is our turning all right let's see we have i have these two which are linked but uh they were no goes they smell horrible i think it was like hot garbage on a florida <laughs> august florida day that's what they smell like don't put that on your eye um then I got this pretty little glitter, which I think we will use somehow, some way. This I have used and I am quite disappointed, I hate to say, um, because she's cute, but the color's just not there. Like, <laughs> so where did, where did you go, purple? <laughs> You're there, but you go bye-bye. You go bye bye, and then nobody knows where you are. Uh, so that's very sad because I thought it looked really cute, and I love the packaging. Oh, there she is. And then we have this one, which is it looks like Anastasia's palette, and it is all these bright colors, which I have used, and they're okay. They're pretty good. I'm still going to use the other palette just because I feel like that's what more people would like to see. Oh. I didn't untape the other side. But that's what this looks like. And it's okay. Is it amazing? No. But if you wanted to get some bright look. They hit me in the head. If you want to get some bright looks. You could do it. They're not horrible. Um, so if you're looking for something like this. Especially if you're wanting to just play around. Uh, get used to using color. This would be great for that. I am going to use this one. Um, this is one I was the most excited about. <laughs> what can I say? So, we're going to make her hair, so. Alright, we're going to go in with these two shades here on the lid. And the only thing I have on my lid is foundation from when I did my foundation already, so. I 
and my brushes are all just stained pink so there's nothing there was nothing on that except for stained pink because I use those Vanessa Myricks and um, P. Louise bases for a lot of my eyeshadow and they stained my brushes so. all right well that one this is turning out a little bit better than what they swatched on my hand so there you go see that's why we give it another shot right if i had given an initial review i would have said the whole palette was terrible and unfortunately it's just that purple that just said bye bye that's to go well it was important to me to be to do this video although oh i think um although it's been a while since i did the haul because I know we love makeup and we shouldn't be limited to Sephora and you know, like Nordstrom and Macy's and all these indie brands coming out with $150 palettes. You shouldn't feel like you can't love makeup and play makeup without spending that kind of money. So it was important to me to do this to give you my review if you anybody cared. <laughs> all right, we're going to give this one a go into the crease. And it doesn't really do, I mean, it doesn't deepen it. It's about the same shade, so we didn't really do anything. But we have that. We are going to take, let's see. We have this one. Oh, we have this one. I am not intentionally giving you the bird. Oof. We have this one. Oh, I think I love this. This one looks like satin taupe. We're going to go in with that. All over the lid. Oh, she pretty. I wish the um, crease would have a little bit darker shade, but that's okay. Oh, this is interesting. It changes like colors as you, it's not supposed to be duochrome, I do not believe, but <laughs> it uh, definitely has a little bit of shift there. And then I wanted to put a little bit of this lighter shade right in the middle to give it some depth. A little shadow will go on the inner corner, the one I showed earlier. I got eyeshadow all over me now. My hand, so. All right, so I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to do my mascara, eyeliner, and my brows. And I will be back, and we will do one final little thing, and I'll give you my quick review. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I have lined my eyes. I just used black liquid liner and a black liner in the inner, lot, inner water line and some mascara, did my brows, and that is all. And just for fun, I have their freckle pen I thought would be fun to use. And this is the name of it. Again, everything will be linked down below um, because I cannot pronounce some of the brands and I would, oh, that's an eyeshadow stick. That is not what, <laughs> that is not the freckle pen. Um, and I wouldn't want to risk butchering it. You know, sounded like a big old idiot. So we're just gonna try the freckle pen, see how it works, see if it's any good. I've tried a few, so we'll see. <laughs> um, Let's see, we'll go. We'll just do it on one side so we can see what it looks like. And it works. <laughs> when I was little, I had all the little freckles and they were always just right here on my nose. And they were all different sizes, so. Just, just a few. Maybe, maybe people may think there is dirt. Who knows? But it does work. It's very cute. I think it was like ninety eight cents. So, if you love makeup and you just want to play in it and you want to try trends, but you don't want to spend even seven dollars, five seven dollars on a freckle pen, a dollar. So, it's fun to play into makeup. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. So, all right. Let's get down to it. Let me move some of this other makeup. So I'm going to go and say, just skip on these. 
this and this is a skip pass they swatch really nice but i'm not kidding you when i tell you they smell awful <laughs> um oh i already did my lips but we can try one of these i just have um a, glo a pink gloss on so let's go in you want to try this pink here it looks kind of watermelony okay so for lips <laughs> i'd say if you want to it's like five bucks if you want to try it, try it. If you think that you want to make this work and you want to give it a go, give it a go. It is quite peak. <laughs> I don't mind it. Um, do we want to try it on the cheeks? I'm afraid it's going to be too greasy because it is very greasy, but that's the orange. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the Hello Kiss and this brand here, uh, Lake Rain. I say if this is... Um, packaging that you're willing to work with the formula is pretty dang good i'm very impressed and um i don't have anything bad to say about it so if you want to use it if you want to get it definitely get it give it a try because i was impressed i will probably be gifting these to someone who doesn't already have all the charlotte tilbury because i'm trying to not be wasteful so everything is being gifted and donated that i know i will not use so i will probably be giving these to someone and i know they will love them and use them and um they can tolerate perhaps better than me um if you package it <laughs> um this is also good so i like this i've used this separately and it is from lake rain as well so if you see lake rain on there so far knocking it out of the park and oh these powders are a go they are a yes do enjoy that they are very finely milled they are not heavy they are not it is not thick it is just, they're nice so this one is shade four if i didn't say that before and this is shade two the one that's got like a banana powder almost here i mean for me it would be um and then some of the darker powders so it's hard to tell from swatches what i was getting and then oh i forgot this is horrible i already know that i've not used it we're not gonna put it on my face it is pure chalk you can see that right it's just like putting chalk on your face. It is not good. And this is Magic Acasa Highlighters. It's not magic. It needs some magic, but it's not magic. <laughs> All right. And then these two palettes. This one, I mean, it performed better than I expected it to. It actually, because of the swatches on my hand, some of the mattes disappeared. But it's not horrible. So I'd say if you're, if you're like, oh, that's really pretty. I, I'm digging it get it this one is really good i like it so i can recommend those and last but not least i did not use it but this is some um, face and body party glitter and i will be using this in my hair and my hair part it is very watery let's put our finger over the top it's very runny but let's let's swatch it we're not doing the hair part today but we will be very soon I like to be festive and I like glitter <laughs> but is she pretty and again a couple dollars I think everything together plus there was like two other maybe three other eyeshadow palettes that were awful and I tossed uh, <laughs> they are amongst the landfill now um but everything was like $98 so all right so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think um, how do you think my look turned out? Did you have a favorite product I used? Yeah, so I'll check it. If you're not subscribed already, please be sure you're subscribed. Turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Leave me a comment down below and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!